Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to the final part of our trilogy of the Siege of Ogamar. I am very excited to explore the destruction of Stormwind. We have just defeated Garrosh and his circle of doom over there. We escaped out of the map. And as always, if you would like to see how I escaped, please join the membership. It is only $2.99 a month, and uh, you'll be able to see how I escape in there. So, let's get right into the video, and we're going to go explore Stormwind. So, we're actually going to take a look here. Now, uh, one key thing we got to be careful is that if you walk out here, this is all just smoke and mirrors. You'll actually just fall through the docks here completely. You'll just fall right through the ground. So this actually isn't even uh, texture. I mean, it is textured ground, but it's not solid ground. So you can't actually walk in it. You got to stay behind the barrier here. And we're actually going to head out this way because this will also happen. But you'll just clip through the map as well. So how are we going to get back up? Well, there's a place over here that we can get back up. So we're going to go head out this way. And we're going to go take a look and see how to get up here. And I believe here as well. Yeah, okay. So everywhere here, you can't get back up. We can't easily just fly back up, but I do want to see what's going on around us and see the uh, part of the map. So as you can tell, outside of the map, they do keep a lot of the scene that you're normally not supposed to see. And this is what we're here for. We want to go see everything that's outside the map. Now, they do got Westfall in the distance over there. I don't know how much they keep of Dunmoreau in the distance, so we're going to go find out there. And uh, let's go take a look. So let's get up first. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And we're actually going to switch to Havoc because we want our fell Rush back. There we go. And what we can do is we can just walk straight up here. And there we go. Now we're back up on the land here. So let's go head out this way and let's go take a look around. Now, I have never actually been out here yet. This is all going to be brand new exploring for me, just like you guys. Unless you've been out here already. I have never been out here, so I don't know exactly what they keep, what they don't. Oh, interesting. So you can actually walk in the giant hangar over here. That's really neat. Look at all of this. So you can just walk in here. Normally you can't get in here, so it's kind of neat to see. Now, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get up, and I think what we can do is just go through here. So we could just fell rush, and we can start on this side of the map and see if they keep all of Dunmoreau or not. So far, we are failing to get up the mountain, so let's go over here. Let's see if we can climb. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're all good. All right. So I don't know if we can get up here. Sadly, uh, I think that's too steep for us to climb. Oh, okay. I always say it's too steep and then I do it. So <laughs> never mind. <laughs> all right. I take it back. Apparently you can climb here or I just got extremely lucky. So let's wait for our second fell rush charge. As we're just going to keep climbing up the mountain here. There we go. Cool. Okay, so we got up here. Awesome. So let's keep taking our, a look out this way. And let's go find out what we can find outside the map of the destruction of Stormwind. I'm very excited to be out here as I've never seen. Now that is awesome. This is a view you don't normally ever get, right? I wonder if you can fly to the ship. We'll have to do that at the very last. We'll go up here and then we'll fly out to the ship. But let's go explore and see what they keep of Stormwind. Now, remember, this is the Missa Pandaria version of Stormwind. This isn't the most recent updated. So you have all these trees and stuff still here. And you don't have all the armories and all that. So this is a little more old school version of Stormwind, which is kind of neat. So they don't have up all the, uh, you know, the recent version. Look at that. I love that view right there. And I love the skybox in this. It's kind of creepy looking. I love going in these uh, different versions of Stormwind and just seeing kind of how they look and stuff. So we're going to head out this way. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go climb the mountain still. And we're going to go this way because it looks like a lot easier to climb up. And we're going to see if they keep any of Dunmoreau out that way. I'm assuming they don't. But, you know, 
you never know i don't know how much they keep do they keep the dead scar what are they gonna keep out here i guess let's go find out interesting did you guys see that in the background oh it looks like the map cuts off over here we are in the fog of war so there is stuff back here okay interesting we're gonna drink a potion here ah so they do keep some of okay so it's like a smoke and mirror effect interesting you know what's funny you see a landmass way out there in the distance right over here i wonder if that is the temple of the jade serpent or that is uh the barons where you go and you do the siege of ogremar the beginning you know where you break in and all that so i don't know i'm very curious to what's over there now as you can tell the map is cut off right around here so they don't keep Dunmoreau out here but it's kind of neat to see that they do keep some of a smoke and mirror effect right here as you can tell the top of the mountain with uh, the snow and all that so they don't keep a lot of it but they do keep some of it so it is pretty neat so we're actually not going to go fly down there because this actually looks like the same stuff they keep in the um the stormwind uh extraction mission in the horde and i actually did a whole video on that if you guys haven't seen it i'll put a link in the comment and description below even though it has nothing to do with siege of ogamar if you guys remember in the video they actually keep the same kind of smoke and mirrors uh there is no Dunborough in the background but there's just a bunch of mountains of snow on it just like this scenery so i wonder if they just copied this to use for the current expansion uh future expansion so a little lazy on their part but that is typical blizzard that's what they do they copy and paste material and just put it somewhere else so well i mean at least we know now there's not going to be anything back there which is kind of sad i wish there was more but i understand so let's go actually head out this way and see if we can climb the mountains here okay that was a weird animation now we are in an inky black potion still so it does give it a little bit of a different effect, huh? So let's actually take off our inky black potion. There we go. So we are in the fog of war still. So unfortunately, can't see a ton. But let's actually go head out this way and let's go see if we can find any of Elwyn Forest. As you guys can tell, it's just mountainous area over here. Nothing too much to see. Just the normal mountains they usually keep in the retail game. And we're just going to keep heading out this way. And let's see how far this actually goes out. I'm curious, because if it goes out pretty far, we can just walk back up here and go back into Stormwind. Now, we don't want to get stuck here. So we're going to kind of play it safe here and go around there we go right now we are in the dead scar you remember the scar that deathwing have left in cataclysm oh we fell okay looks like we have hit the edge of the world so there is nothing over here that is disappointing i wonder if they keep any of ellen forest let's go find out so we're gonna head back up the mountains here we're gonna go see if they keep any of that over here um first off i just want to thank everybody who's been watching this videos i hope you guys have enjoyed the siege of ogremar series it was a requested video for a while from a lot of you so i'm glad that i was able to fulfill the request and do the video if you guys have any future requests or anything in the future that you want to actually see on the channel just let me know and uh, i'll definitely uh, keep that in mind and make future content I got a lot of videos I still haven't done in the future, and there's so much to explore and cover in World of Warcraft. I definitely have videos for years to come, and that's very exciting because that means ATN is going to be around for a long time. Unless Blizzard, you know, decides to kick me to the curb. <laughs> and uh, I hope they don't do that, but, uh, you know, you never know. All right. So let's keep moving forward. Now it doesn't look like they keep anything over here, but I do want to get on top of this mountain real quick. I want to see how far this actually goes back. Not too far, but there's the edge of the world that you can see right here. So we are hitting the edge. Let's go see if they keep any of Elwyn Forest back here. That would be kind of neat to see. 
So right now, we are in the back of the castle. As you can tell, the castle's over here. And we'll go explore Stormwind here in a little bit. But I do want to see what they keep. Now, I don't know all the death walls, all the out-of-boundary DC loops in this map. I haven't been out here, like I said before, yet. So if I run into a DC loop, if I run into a death wall, I'll definitely take note of it for the future. But right now, we're just making our way around. As you can tell, we're on the backside of Stormwind Keep right now. And I'm assuming all of Stormwind is explorable, so that's going to be exciting to go see here in a minute. But let's go take a look around the edge of the mountains, and let's continue out this way and see if we can make it. And see if any of Ellen Forest is actually there. I would be really shocked and surprised if they keep any of Goldshire or anything like that out here. Ooh. This mountain might be too steep for us to climb. Yeah, it looks like we do got to go around, unfortunately. Oh. There we go. Alright, we got it, we got it. No panicking. Now, what's really interesting here is there is no water on the backside for the ravine. Excuse me, I had a cough. Uh, if you guys know, I am sick at the moment still, sadly. Dealing with a little bit of a cold. <laughs> My nose has been all stuffed up. But just got done being sick like a few weeks back, so I'm kind of upset with myself. But uh, that's okay, it's just life. It happens. So here goes Ellen Forest. Man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really excited if they keep a lot of Ellen Forest out here. So let's go out this way. Let's go try to avoid Stormwind for now because. I'm assuming a lot of death walls might be out that way. So let's go ahead in this way. All right. Oh, snap. Okay. It looks like they do keep a lot of Elwyn Forest out here. This is very exciting, guys. Look at that. There's the path actually heading to Goldshire. Let's go walk it. There goes one of the uh, encampments. All right. And, ooh, all right. So it looks like they do keep a lot of this out here. All right, let's mount up and let's go take a look. So they do keep the uh, woman with the cats in her house over here, <laughs> where you can normally buy the cats right over here. I believe, yeah, this is the place, right? Now, does it change the music? It does. That one for music's playing. Awesome. I love that. That's exciting. So let's actually go ahead back out and let's go see if they keep any of Goldshire. No way, they do keep Goldshire and the graveyards out here. Ah, all right, this is very exciting. Most all of Goldshire is here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Which it does cut off, so we don't want to go too far in the Goldshire because we might get stuck. But are they going to play the music? Da -da 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 yeah, they do play it. And you can see the Hearthstone uh, board on the table here. All right, awesome. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad they kept uh, Goldshire out here. Now, we don't want to go too far back there because, like I said, the world cuts off like right around here. So if we go back there, we most likely get stuck in the map and I don't want to do that and deal with it. So we'll just let you guys, I'll let you guys see some of Goldshire here and inside the inn. And uh, let's go back out. Sorry. <laughs> I know if you guys want to see back there, definitely go explore yourself. But I just don't want to get stuck right now in the video. So we're going to keep going forward. Now, they also do keep the armory here. Now, you know what would have been really neat if they kept all of uh, Northshire Abbey up that way, but I understand. Only some of it. Look at that. That's all sticking out on the edge over there. That's kind of neat. All right. So, let's keep walking up this way. Now, the real question is, do they keep the Fargo Deep Mine? That's going to be very interesting. I don't know why they would, but it is looking like they keep a lot back here. No way. And they keep the farmstead and everything, too? Guys, this is a really cool OOB. They're keeping a lot of stuff out here. I always wanted to go into an OOB Ellen Forest, so this is kind of... I'm a little happy and giddy right now. <laughs> I'm like, ah, this is really neat to see. Look at this. It goes all the way back here to the farmstead. No way. Can you actually go in here? Ah, it's so weird. 
Oh, that's so cool that you can go in here. Creepy. But awesome. Can we keep moving forward this way? I love the L1 Forest music swap. That is so cool. All right, great, 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 great. This is an awesome OB so far. I'm loving this. Having a lot of fun with this. Do they keep any of the river back here going into Deathwood? Not really, huh? It's kind of cut off. But the water is still here a little bit. All right. Interesting. All right, let's keep going out this way and let's go see if they keep the Fargo Deep Mine and kind of looks like they do no way is all of the mine actually going to be there can we walk through the mine here what they actually keep the fargo deep mine here no way and this is actually the older version i mean it hasn't really changed over the years but remember the gold tooth encampments usually up here oh and they do keep it okay so never mind so gold tooth is his stuff is up here but his stuff is here and he's not here that's kind of neat you know take candle does the fire hurt us oh no they took out fire damage from that didn't they i forgot all right can we go into the mine oh we can no way guys we can actually go to the fargo deep mine look at that this is so cool i'm surprised they keep all of this out here you can go all the way into the Fargo Deep Mine in the out of bounds of the Siege of Ogamar. Like, who would have thought? That is insane. Does it actually render like we're in here? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. But that's pretty neat, though. I never thought they would keep that much out here. I'm actually genuinely, genuinely surprised and shocked. I wonder how much they keep of Westfall. I guess we're going to have to go find out. Look at that. All right. We just went through the Fargo Deep Mine in... An OOB, Siege of Okamar. <laughs> That's kind of neat. All right. Oh, they do keep the farmstead over here as well. This is normally where Princess is in Elwyn. So, wow. So they keep a lot out here. I'm really shocked. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, it would have been awesome if they kept some of Deathwood as well. But uh, I get it, you know. We're, I mean, where do you stop? Now, the real question is, is Hogger's encampment here? I don't remember which uh expansion hogger was updated in does any if anybody can let me know was it kata okay it doesn't look like they keep hoggers and camera back here and all his bones and all that they do keep little remnants of the camps of the knolls so wow so a lot of elven forest is here that's really neat to see now unfortunately none of the water is here because we are in the oob let's go see how much they keep of uh westfall <clears throat> quite a bit out here wow okay so they do keep the farmstead over here that's really neat i wonder what they decide to keep and what they don't decide to keep can we go in here actually we can so it's like we're in westfall awesome love it love it love it now look at we are at the edge of the world you can see actually the water below us which is kind of neat so it does show the edge of the world here Ooh, don't want to walk too close because we will get stuck so let's actually go head out this way on the other side of the map here it's really weird being in a like different version of westfall here oh they do keep the homeless encampment thing over here so you can see the the homeless uh, camp. And they do have the... Uh, okay, so the... The Griffin is here. So this isn't an older version of Westfall. Alright. This is not. And do they keep the cave over here as well? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to be genuinely curious if they do. They do keep all the cave here. Ah, oh, man. It would have been really neat if they cook uh, Brookshire or anything in the distance there and like the dead mines but that's too far i understand can we go in here 
We can. This is fully wow, fully rendered and everything. Huh. All right, awesome. Well, that's really cool, guys. I didn't know they kept all this back here. This has been a really awesome OB so far. Wow, okay. How far does this actually go back? It looks like it goes back pretty far. Let's go see if how far this goes. So they do keep a lot of Westfall out here. I mean, almost half of it completely. Look at that. Wow, and they do keep all of the beach out here too. So let's go check that out. Here goes the uh, shipwreck out here in the distance. That's really fun. Normally the Murlocs would be out here, right? I'm kind of afraid to go out here because I don't want to get DC'd. Uh, we do got to be careful of water. So we can ride out here though. And let's go see what they keep out here on the coast. Now normally, the uh, if you guys remember the treasure chest, the famous treasure map hunt. And this is where you actually find the chest all the way out here. So I wonder if the chest is out here. Normally it's laying out here, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Now that looks like fatigue over here. I think we did find the edge of the world. Wow, how far does this go back? This looks like it goes for a long time. Are we going to hit fatigue out here? That's what my real question is. Oh, we are hitting fatigue damage. But it looks like this goes really far and extended out. Now I'm curious. Uh, it looks like we're fighting the edge of the world. So it looks like that's it. Now, unfortunately, because we did this, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but I was definitely curious of what's out here. You can see the edge of the map. So it's just the edge of the map. I think we have time to get back. We should be okay. But that's kind of neat to see, though. Oh, gosh. Are we going to make it? That's the question. I think we'll be okay. I think we're barely just going to make it, though. Come on. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh, okay, we made it back. Good. All right, let's go head back into Stormwind, and let's go check out some of Stormwind. So we did make it outside the map back in. That was close. We're doing good. Going back to the shipwreck over here. And let's go head back this way along the coast into, into uh, Stormwind. Let's go take a look and see what we can find. Now they do keep the windmill out here. That's all crooked. It's kind of leaning over. Let's go head back up here and let's start heading our way back into Westfall to Stormwind. Now what's really neat is because this is an older version of Stormwind though, there is no entrance member portal to the Everbloom up here. So it's gonna, it is somewhat of an older version of Stormwind because this is back in Miss Pandaria and there was no Everbloom dungeon yet until the Warlords of Draenor. But I'm surprised they keep as much as they do back here. I mean, it's massive. They almost keep half of what... I mean, basically almost half of Westfall. So that's really shocking to me how much they keep.
I guess they were thinking people could see all the way back there. I don't know. Now, here's the question. Can we climb this? And I think we can. So we can kind of go see what's up here. Normally, it's the Everbloom Dungeon, like I was saying, all the way up on the mountain over here. But uh, let's go take a look. So they do keep the waterfall, but there is no water over here. So just the waterfall in the beginning there. A little bit of the effect. Oh, and they do keep the waterfall over here too, okay. Unfortunately, because we're in the fog of war though, we're not going to be able to see much. So that's kind of sad. All right. Let's go take a look here. Oh, look at the old dock up here. That's fun. I think this is actually in retail too, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't remember what's actually up here, if anything. I wish we had the Ellen music going the whole time. I don't like this dramatic war music that's been playing. Kind of sucks, but I know we're in the raid, so there's nothing I can do to change it. Unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, let's get around these mountains. And let's go back into Stormwind. And let's go check out the entrance here. So it does look like normal Stormwind. It's not the Cataclysm Stormwind. Which, you know, makes sense. I mean, we're not in Cataclysm, we're in Miss. Oh, it does play in the Stormwind music. There we go. Awesome. Now let's go fly in here. You can read the signs and everything. I always love being in these ghost Stormwind cities. Now, guys, just another warning. I don't know where death walls are. I don't know where DC loops are. I don't know. This is my first time doing this in here, so I might find a death wall. So we just got to be careful how far we can go in here. If we find a death wall, most likely just end the video. Now, I'm curious if they keep, um, if they keep, uh, uh, the stockades over here. Ooh, I think I'm lagging a little bit here. I apologize. Let's go see if they keep stockades. Looks like they do. There's the entrance here. Oh, they do keep the portal too. Interesting. Can you walk through it? No, it does stop you. Okay. And I actually know for a fact, if you were to go behind that wall, you would just fall through the map. Oh, actually, no, you wouldn't. You'd go. There's a little strip you can stand on. And then if you try to walk through the doors in the stockades, then you'll fall through. The mailboxes work here. So we could be in an older version of Stormwind and send mail to us. That would be creepy, huh? Look at, uh, usually this is where the new, um, what's it called? Gosh, I can't even think about it right now. Where are we at here? Gosh, where are we? Um, what's the, oh, the trading post. So look at this, the old, uh, place where this used to be. No more trading posts right now. That's neat to see. A little bit of history right there. Ooh. I'm curious to go see if the mage tower's intact. I'm assuming all of the old storm ones here, so. Ah, there we go. We have the storm wind music, a lot more refreshing. And we can just do some roof jumping here. Let's go check out the mage quarter and see if the, all the portals are intact. Now, obviously, we, we can't go in here. Oh, they do keep the portal. Ugh. That would be a trip if we, like, went through and went to the portal room in the OOB. Uh, if you guys are noticing my video, I do apologize. I am getting some lag here. Um, I think just a lot of texture and stuff that's trying to load in and models and stuff. So my computer's not handling it that great for whatever reason. I've never had problems until now. 
Um, I am going to be looking to upgrade my computer in the future. I want to get one of those really sweet monster 4090 cards. Those things are sweet. Uh, I definitely will be upgrading. So anyways, that's going to be in the future. Um, you know, guys, I just want to say thank you for those of you that tuned in. That is the final part of the Siege of Ogamar. So I highly recommend you come explore. It's a lot of fun. They keep most of all the city here. Well, actually, yeah, all of the city. If you want to see an old uh, Cataclysm version of Stormwind, here you go. This is your time to go back to Cataclysm. And uh, yeah, it's just really neat to see the destruction of it and explore it around the area. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This was a lot of fun to film. If you guys have any uh, suggestions in the future, let me know. I'm definitely going to be continuing a new series, and as always, next Tuesday. I'm trying to do a consistent upload schedule of Tuesday and Thursday right now. Also, coming up, I'm going to be having some more detail probably this weekend on the transmog contest. So if you like transmogging in retail, this is your time to shine. And there's going to be a $50 Amazon gift card reward for whoever wins. And then I'm going to be hosting a Hearthstone tournament, and I'll have more details to follow on that. So anyways, guys, thank you for this suggestion. It was a lot of fun. As always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.